Hey golfers, I'm Drew Maholder, Second Swing Golf, joined by a very special guest today. We have Rocco Mediate, uh, a 10 time winner on both the PJ Tour and mm -hmm. the PJ Tour Champions. You know a little bit about golf. I think. Teeny bit, teeny yeah, bit. You're still you, learning. You've been around the game a little yes. bit. Yes. Um, so we have you in here today. We thought it'd be fun to kind of go through the clubs that you're playing in your bag. Mm -hmm. um, and you've got some very unique choices in here, so I do want to get into that. Yes. Um, so I think we could just start with the top, if you're okay with that. Fire so, away. Um, we've got driver. I see the G400 family from Ping there. Yes, so talk you do. to me about the driver that you're playing and kind of how you got it set up. Yeah, I, I, I don't know, a couple years ago, I noticed a bunch of guys on the regular tour playing the 400 still. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking there's got to be a reason. For yeah. So I got some here, second yeah. swing, I got a couple here, and I had the pin guys look at them, weight them up like I like. I put four or six grams of, of glue in the heel okay. of everything, because I want yeah. spin and I want it to go left. Yeah. And it, that's what happened. It became faster than anything I had okay. off the face. So, and I could curve it and do anything yeah. I wanted with it. So that's the only, re so it, it went in. I've tried a bunch of other ones, can't find it. Yeah, and that's just a standard G400 head. Standard right? G400, yeah. no, I want spin. Yeah. What people don't understand out there, spin is control. Understand? Control, <laughs> spin, control, same thing. No spin, no control. So I need 26, 2700 RPMs with this driver because mm -hmm. I do this and it's got to spin to curve yeah. like that. I don't want it to go down on the ground. I don't want it to go to the right. So yeah. that's old school to way, way to do it. And stiff, sure. stiff, stiff shafts. Yeah. This is a Ventus 7, 7 XTR Black. Yeah. It's, a, it's the telephone pole. Yeah. <laughs> well, but you're 75 years old. Why do you use? Well, because it, you don't have to be fast to, to, to use stiff. Yeah. Stability. The stiffer the club, the easier it is to draw, mm -hmm. period. Yeah. And you're all about drawing the ball. Yes. You're there's no other. The ball I can make it go to the right if I want because it's so stable, but yeah. I draw. Yeah. I have to have it. It will fall to the left. Right. Makes total um, sense. So, yeah, everyone thinks of that the softer the shaft, the, the easier it is to do. No, it just goes high yeah. right. So, Interesting. No okay. interest. No interest. Good. So G400, that's kind of an yeah, older model. Nine degree. Um, I, it's like five years old, isn't it? I don't yeah, even know. It's, I have no idea. I think it was a 20. 18 or 2017 yeah, there you go. from from ping so mm -hmm. that's i mean like you said a lot of other tour professionals still are using yeah, it yeah still it's are. been yeah. very successful i like so. it i like it um moving down then so mm -hmm. fairwoods hybrids what do we have there? fairway wood i have the, uh, the calorie this thing's silly too it's um the uh, the high loft low spin mm -hmm. 16 and a half degree oh mm -hmm. i said low spin right but it's got the loft so i can curve it and spin <laughs> it see you see how that works so if there was 13 degrees of loft on this useless right, right. But now we've got 16 and a half, so I can cover 240 in the air, which is perfect for a three yeah. wood for me. Mm -hmm. That's usually most guys' four irons, but it's not mine. Uh, same thing, Ventus 7X, 8X TR Blue, mm -hmm. a little mid, so very stiff, tipped a little bit. Yeah. Amazing golf club, simple. Good off the ground, good off the tee. Yeah. yeah it's it's hard to a, find good ones. We've had a good ton of good feedback on that family. Of yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. A lot of explosiveness in the Rogue ST family there. You got the LS mm -hmm. head, but like you mentioned, extra loft there. Yes. Um, and then you alluded to before we started actually filming the hybrid you're playing. Yeah. We've had a, an, another club that's been awesome. It's not called a fittings. hybrid, it's called a UW. It's utility wood. Yeah, whatever. It's it looks, a hybrid. It looks like yeah, a hybrid. It's a hybrid. But anyway, yeah. it's a night. What do I have? 19. I probably have a little more. I feel like 20 degrees of loft on this. Yeah. It's like 220 ish mm -hmm. club for me. Okay. Um, and it's got an 8X TR yeah. Ventus tipped. I think this is tipped an inch. But um, yeah, solid. A little shorter. It's not, it's not a lot. It's, it's shorter than standard. Okay. I, don't, I just I don't need it to be longer. I don't want it to go any further than I want it to go. Right. Makes right. sense. So mm -hmm. simple. Yeah. And those are kind of the gapping clubs. And yeah. then you kind of move down into the iron set. Yeah. I start with three iron, two, th the 230s. I-230s yeah. from yeah, Pink. Yeah, okay. yeah, exactly. How'd you come to that decision there? Because those are, from this point since filming, they've been available not super long to the public in right. a couple months. So, right. Um, how long have you, this, you know, I've had played these six tournaments with them. Okay. Five or six tournaments. I got them back. I don't know. I, they were good. But it was it was cool because they sent me. A, I bought a set actually. I, I buy them, but um, before they came out, they okay. they kind of helped me out yeah. on that part. But but which is good. So I, I used the two tens for a few years before that. Well, okay. a bunch of years. Yeah. Um, and you and see the the so the one thing that I know Ping wanted to do was make the long irons a little bit more refined in the appearance on the i two thirty. Yeah, they're all the, yeah they're all the same. Yeah, yeah. they're the, like the three and there's a little bit offset in it, which I love. I okay. I actually like more, but this one's they're perfect. I didn't think when I looked at them I went eh. Mm -hmm. Then I hit them and they're fine. Gotcha. They're fine. So I I, I really like them. Mm -hmm. um, just three through three through nine iron I play. Then I go into okay. the wedges. That's something different. But. Um, New shaft this year, the X100 mid, okay, which is a heavy, heavy shaft, but it's built. It's like Lego said, who, who's the true temper, one of the true temper bosses 
I said, what is the shaft? And he, he made it real simple. He goes, it's perfect for today's ball. Didn't need to hear anything else. There you go. So I use a 7.0 rifle mid for a thousand years. This is, it feels almost identical. Okay. Kicks it up if I want it and it spins. There you go. And spin. you need that did, spin? You, did I say spin again? Did I, did I say spin? <laughs> yeah. Spin was what? What? Control. Yeah. So yeah, I can, I can get 4,000 RPMs on this three iron if I want. I'll stop it right mm -hmm. at the top of your head. Okay. See, I don't want 2,000. I don't want it to go to right. 20. I want it to go 205. Yeah. For 38 years, it's yeah. gone 205. But so I can spin it, keep it down, whatever. And that's yeah. cool to be able to spin long clubs. Because mm -hmm. they say, well, you don't do much with your long clubs. You don't use them a lot. But, but then what happens when you do have to use them? Yeah. Because so I, I disagree it, with that totally. It's just fascinating if, talking to someone of your caliber and someone playing competitively mm -hmm, still. <laughs> to every club in the bag, not even going all the way up to the driver. It's about control. It's about finding, yes, hitting a it, number yes. and hitting the shots you want to hit. There's no reason mm -hmm. you can't make birdies with a three iron um, mm -hmm. if, if you have a, a right. one or two here. There's no reason you can't hit the ball close to the right. hole. So I, my three iron's at 22, almost 23 degrees aloft. Yeah. That's most people's four iron. Right, and that's, the, the trend seems to be three irons are becoming 20 or even less. Yeah, they're, they're along. driving irons for the long kids. That's yeah. fine, I get it, yeah. but we don't do that. <laughs> um, we, so, speaking of control mm -hmm. and making birdies, mm -hmm. wedges. Yeah, wedges, we have. So, what my, do we got? Well, Mike Taylor's built my stuff it's at Artisan Golf in Fort Worth for the last, I think it's been three or four mm -hmm. years now. I wish I'd have known him 25 years ago. But um, uh, he's, there's nothing, I, I can't even explain how good, they're built for me. So yeah. you can't buy these on the, yeah. you don't right, have right. them. You have to get them built and they're all custom made. He'll mm -hmm. do it for anybody. But once he makes one, we started with the 56, he'll make me a thousand look, they're exactly the same. Yeah. There's no like go through six to get one, right. like the old days, no. These, I can take this brand new and put it in the bag. I'll check the line loft on my machine, it's in the bag, I'm mm -hmm. done. Um, and I, I used 56, 52, 48. Those are my wedges. Okay. So no, no, nothing higher than 56? No, 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 no. Useless. Okay. No. Interesting. I yeah. can make this do whatever. Hi, Timmy. <laughs> I can make this do whatever I want it to do. Mm -hmm. um, one question I'm always wondering, and I think a lot of the you know, recreational golfers wonder too, is how often do you replace wedges in terms of the grooves being worn? Like, These is that are, something you do Every couple often? months. Yeah. Every couple months. For is, me, that, yeah. is it a number of rounds, or is it just kind of you look at no, it? No, I see, just look at it yeah. and see. Because I have them build so many of them. Yeah. I have 30 of these yeah. all over the place at home. And I just go and grab whatever I want. They're right. all the same. Mm -hmm. The same with 52 and same with the, the uh, 48. Okay. And, and then in terms of the, the bounce and the grind, is there, do you, what, are you a low bounce or high bounce? No, I'm, I'm 14 in the middle. All okay. my wedges are built identical on the bottom. Okay. 56, 52, and 48 are identical. Why wouldn't yeah. they be? Mm -hmm. Think about it. Why wouldn't they all be the same? Why are they going to be different? Um, if I want to hit a sand wet, pitching wedge out of a bunker, yeah. besides less loft, I want the same bottom. Yeah. So I can have the same thing happen, just go further, the, hopefully. You, you make the same <laughs> swing on it, essentially. Yes, yeah. it doesn't, very square leading edge. Not that that has to happen. Some but people like the, the camber, I hate it. Yeah. Um, I like it straight as, as can be. And then there's like 13, 14 right in the middle, zero on the heel, zero on the toe, completely mm -hmm. relieved on all of them. Yeah, okay, interesting. Because they're all the same, except for lofts. Wow. So, um, that's fascinating. This one's heavier than all. This is D6-ish. Okay. Um, um, and the rest are like D3. The other two are D3. Sure. But um, yeah, it's, you can, and the shaft, we went to a, in the 56. I went X100 mids from three to 52. Okay. But the 56, I don't want that tightness. I yeah. want it, so we took an eight iron shaft of the X100 mid. You cut and it? Put it, yeah, and we put it in here. And now we got soft, heavy, can do things. Interesting. With it. Yeah, you don't want stiff in the sand. You don't ever want, if you have an X100 in your 3 iron, you certainly don't want it in your sandwich. Mm. You don't even want any part of that because the bottom can't activate. Yeah. This has to, this has to be soft for this mm. to work. Simple. Huh? I'm learning things right now. Yeah, it's, it's, we, it's crazy. Not, you look through the bags of some people and they have the same shaft from 3 iron down. It's like you're toast and wedges, you're done. Yeah. yeah there has to be some play. Mm. Well, speaking of that, yeah. we're at, now at the very bottom of the bag, we got the putter here. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Talk to me about the putter. Yeah, this is good. This I changed about a year ago. This is sick. Um, uh, this is the pro, mm -hmm. the pro head, but it's the Bryson's technique. Yeah. Completely his. Mm -hmm. I, I talk with him about it. I haven't seen him. I've talked to him a couple times yeah. only. Don't bother him. Every once in a while, um, and I use his technique. And I've, I, it was one of the best moves I've yeah. ever made. Yeah. yeah I can't believe more people. And one, he's been one of the best putters. Yeah, on, but it, in it the world makes for sense. A couple years it's now. it's machine driven basically. You're 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 trying to be like a machine. Putter, yeah. And it's rigid. It's uncomfortably comfortable. 
and I, I've gotten better and better at it as the weeks went on, and, and, and I did good with it this year, really good. So I'm looking forward to next year with it, but nothing's changing. I have a couple, couple being made. One's black, one's a backup. So it might be a different color, but it'd be the same putter. Yeah, but the same setup. Same exact okay. setup, yeah. And then that, that shaft is always interesting, too. Yeah. People see that, and they kind of like, what, what is that? Yeah, there's that? no, it's, it's bigger, the but. LA Golf. It's the, the C2 L180. It's, you can do pull-ups on it, if you can do pull-ups. <laughs> they won't bend. There's nothing. I always say this kind of shaft gives you what you give it. Sure. It doesn't ever surprise you. Okay. This, you know, if it's soft, it's too soft with this heavy, it's slingshots. Right, right. So you, we don't want that. Interesting. Another thing Bryson designed, I'm sure he, he, yeah, he, he did had this because he wanted sure. it. his no unique motion. approach to the game. He certainly no putting, yep. surprises. Mm -hmm. Just like a driver shot, he wanted no surprises. Right, right. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Simple. Well, that's what we got. We're Rocco. Yeah, right that's now. it. That's all we got. It's driver through. No the information. Chrome oh. Soft X. Callaway Chrome Soft X. That's okay. about it. Awesome. Well, yeah, like that it. was, I mean, I learned a ton. And it's cool to see someone like you again at your caliber of player going through the bag, a number of different brands, and then mm -hmm. how much detail you pay attention to on some of these things. It's our job. I it's mean, your, yeah, it's, mm. it's what you, you do ask, for a You ask some guys, what, what's in, what shafts are your driver? I don't know. What if it breaks? Well, they'll build me another one. I said, will they? <laughs> do you really know what's in there? I mean, so you got to know what you're doing. Yeah. You got to know what your lies and lofts are, why they're there, what yeah. they do when they're not there. Mm -hmm. I check them every time I come home. I check them at least once or twice a week, and I don't need to. I just do. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's that's the gearhead in you. That's board, some, that's board. someone. That's someone that does golf for. I a, love it. So. I, I still love it. So. So well, Rocco, thank you for joining. Uh, this you was really it. insightful. I learned a ton. And Good. I know the viewers will enjoy this one. So. Good. It's fun. Uh, viewers, make sure you uh, get, leave your comments here and tell us what you think of Rocco's setup. And we'll see you next time on the YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Spin, spin.